was saying that unified heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua might be about to scrap the April 13th date to go to America and fight Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Personally, I think it's a load of bollocks. Um, I think it's Eddie Hearn trying to drum up extra interest uh, for the fans who really don't want to see AJ fight Dillian White again. Um, I know boxing hardcore fans will probably say it's 1-1 because if you've seen it, just go on YouTube. Dillian White has fought and knocked out AJ when they were in the amateurs. Um, he actually beat him in spectacular fashion. Uh, all you got to do is go on YouTube to look at that fight, but this ain't the amateurs anymore. Um, and both have come on heaps and bounds since then. Uh, I think they've both improved since when they fought for the British and Commonwealth titles back in 2015. But you could arguably say easily that AJ has come on the furthest. Uh, when you're looking at AJ, I'm not his biggest fan. I'm not going to lie. Um, but, you know, he's done it. He fought Charles Martin, who was selling his belt, paid five million to fight him. Uh, after that, he fought Dominic Brazil two months later uh, in actually quite a good fight. After that, I think it was Eric Molina and then Klitschko. After Klitschko, I think it was Carlos Takam and then Joseph Parker and then Povetkin. So he's had a good career so far. Eddie Hearn has really done a cracking job of sort of paving the way. But we don't want to see it. What we wanted to see was AJ go in to America and fighting Deontay Wilder for the 50 million that he asked for. If you're not familiar with this, uh, there's a video of AJ doing an IFL interview. <clears throat> and AJ said, give me 50 million and I'll sign tomorrow. Well, Deontay Wilder's team, which is led by legendary promoter slash advisor Al Heyman, they went and they delivered the bag, the 50 million. And then you had, Ed, and then you heard Eddie Hearn saying the money's not real. Proof of funds this, proof of funds that. Whereas Al Heyman, what, six months earlier, had guaranteed Floyd Mayweather 130 million guarantee. And I think he gave Conor McGregor, I believe it was 35 or 40 million guarantee. So if Al Heyman managed to put that much money together for guaranteed purses for McGregor and Mayweather, I don't know why anybody would question if he could get 50 for AJ, who's arguably the biggest or second biggest star in boxing at the moment. I personally think it's still Canelo Alvarez, but, you know, the AJ fanboys, they're going to think what they want to think. So why is AJ thinking about going to fight Jarrell Big Baby Miller? <clears throat> well, the main reason why is because Wembley Stadium is a 80, 90, 100,000 seat stadium. Is he going to fill that up fighting Dillian White? Well, if you speak to anybody who was at AJ versus Povetkin, the stadium was supposedly empty, um, and that was only supposed to be for 90,000. Um, apparently, there was about 20,000 empty tickets. And if you watched the Sky Sports box office uh, fight, they tried their best not to show the emptiness in the crowd, but you could still see it. I knew a few people that went to that fight, um, and they were like, there must have been at least 20,000 empty seats. Uh, so clearly, AJ, he's not this attraction where, you know, the way her Eddie Hearn tries to make out Eddie, AJ could go in the ring and just shadow box and put that on pay-per-view and still sell numbers. To be fair, some of you AJ fanboys are so bloody deluded out there. If he put on a training day on Sky Sports box office, you'd probably pay for it. So maybe Eddie Hearn's got a point. But <clears throat> it takes two to tango. You need a dance partner. And I think right now, people are starting to lose their patience with Anthony Joshua. Yes, he might be a free belt world champion, but, you know, things could have changed. He was supposed to have been stripped by the WBA for not fighting Luis Ortiz, but obviously they like the money that AJ pays them every six months. AJ refused to fight Ortiz, and it actually came to a point where back in the day, Eddie Hearn actually said, we're not going to fight him, and they could come and take the belt if they wanted to, but obviously the WBA decided to stick with the money. Um, he fought Povetkin in that Povetkin fight. I actually had Povetkin win in the first five rounds and then he gassed and then AJ took him out in the last two. Um, but what can AJ do? 
Deontay Wilder's fighting Tyson Fury next. He's never going to fight Luis Ortiz until he's about 50. Um, so the only viable option is Dillian White. The only thing is that Dillian White has built a case for himself recently. He's grown himself into a pay-per-view star. Back-to-back pay-per-views against the likes of Joseph Parker. And then that mouth-watering clash against Derek Chisora. Um In December, Dillian White wants to get paid, and rightfully so. Dillian White doesn't want to take chump change because he believes that he's a star. The only issue with Dillian White is that he doesn't have any major world championships to bring to the table. Whereas Deontay Wilder has the WBC championship and Tyson Fury is still the lineal champion. But AJ, he wants that Dillian White fight. Because in AJ's mind, it's 1-1. In Dillian Dillian White's mind, it's 1-1. But we all know what's going to happen. It's going to be more of the same. Some people say that Dillian White's got a killer left hook, but it doesn't matter. AJ's going to sit down behind the jab, similar to what he did with Joseph Parker, and then he's going to pick his moment and take him out. AJ is one of the most ruthless finishers in the game. I don't think he's as good at finishing as Deontay Wilder, and I don't think he punches as hard, but he still gets the job done. If he, I think Wilder's the hardest puncher out there, and I think AJ is number two. Possibly Daniel Dubois, but we'll see what happens in the future. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. Personally, I don't want to see AJ fighting Dillian White, but I think we're going to be forced for this. You Matchroom fanboys out there, you're going to pay for that fight regardless. Um, I think it speaks numbers. All you see and all you hear is AJ the biggest star in boxing, AJ this, AJ that. If you look, AJ versus Povetkin did about 14,500 views on Showtime. And I wouldn't be surprised if about 11,000 of those were people that took their one month subscription, free subscription, i.e. the zone didn't make any money for that. The zone are going to be putting a lot of money, a lot of money and a lot of pressure on Matchroom to deliver. Eddie Hearn walking around talking about a billion dollars. Let's see how far this the zone deal goes if he keeps putting on this BS. Um, what are your thoughts on this AJ versus Dillian White? Do you want to see it? If not, who would you want to see? There's no point talking about Wilder and there's no point talking about Fury because the rematch is inevitable. Do you want AJ to go and make his US debut against Big Baby Miller? Um, and if you do, why would you not put in pressure on AJ to go and take that Deontay Wilder fight? There was 50 million on the table. I don't think AJ's going to make 50 million um, in his two fights since turning that down against Povetkin and then a fight in either Dillian White or Jarrell Miller. That's a lot of money to turn down. I'm going to have to make a separate video about that uh, later on. I know it was in the past, but you can't ask somebody for 50 million. And when he delivers the bag, you turn it down. Um, Subscribe, like, hit that bell icon. As I said, I'm pushing this channel forwards and I'm going to need as much support as I can. Thank you.